Hello and welcome to Rain's Kitchen and Garden. My name is Rain. Today I'm going to show you how to make this easy three ingredient ricotta cheese. So let's begin. To make the ricotta cheese, you have to start with some warm milk. I've got four cups of whole milk here in my pot and I'm heating that up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The reason why we heat it up is to make sure any bacteria in the milk has been cooked away when we make our cheese. So I'm just checking the temperature here. It's very steamy. So that's hit 200 degrees Fahrenheit and you can tell because it's going to start bubbling and foaming up. So I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm whisking it just to make sure that the heat is distributed evenly and nothing gets stuck to the bottom of the pot. See it's starting to boil here so it's definitely reached 200 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just going to take that off the heat before it spills over. Now to my pot I'm going to add half a teaspoon of regular table salt and I'm going to whisk that in really well. And now we're going to add some lemon juice. We're going to add lemon juice so that the curds form and makes our cheese basically. I have a quarter cup of lemon juice here. I'm just going to gently pour that in. Give it a quick stir. And now you can start to see the curds forming already. You see it's separating a little bit? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cover on my pot and let it sit there for 15 to 20 minutes so that the curds form. My cheese has been sitting for about 20 minutes and I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's very well separated. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is drain it. I'll show you my setup. I have a large bowl here and inside the bowl I just have a little glass container and I've put it upside down because I'm going to put a colander in there and I'm lining it with cheesecloth. And I'm going to drain my ricotta cheese in here and the reason why I put that glass bowl in there is because I don't want the uh, ricotta cheese to be sitting in liquid for an hour while it's draining. This way at least it'll keep it from sitting in liquid. Now this is a really nice cheesecloth. I love it very much. It's a little on the expensive side. I got it at a cheese making shop in Ontario and I'll put the link below. But if you can't find you know a good quality cheesecloth you can always find cheesecloth at the dollar store. I bought this. This is cheesecloth. I got this at the Dollarama and it's absolutely fine. It's not the best quality. You have to double it up, but it works. And I used this for a long time making my ricotta cheese before I started seriously making cheese. So you can definitely use the dollar store brand, no problem. So I'm going to very, very gently, gently, gently pour everything into my colander here. It splashes, so got to be careful because it's still quite hot. You can hear it dripping already. I'm going to grab, let's see, I have my spatula here. I'm just going to take all the little extra bits out of the pot and make sure that gets right into the colander. There we go. Now I'm going to let, excuse me, I'm going to let that drain for one hour. As you make this cheese, look at it. Let me see if you can take a look here. Doesn't that look great? When you make this cheese, you may have to experiment with the draining time. You might want yours more creamy, so you might just leave it for half an hour. You might want it really dry, so you would have to leave it for a couple of hours. I think an hour is pretty good, so in one hour I'm going to come back and check on it. After an hour, this is what my ricotta cheese looks like. It's sort of pulled away a little bit from the cheesecloth, and mine is ready to go. And I just wanted to show you here 
in the bowl. We have all of the whey. Now you don't have to throw that out. Some people actually keep that and make ricotta cheese out of it. I have never done that. I actually give it to my plants and they really love it. So here is the ricotta. Look at that. You can put this in lasagna. You can eat it just as it is. I'm gonna be using it to make some veggie burgers tomorrow night. I made half a batch this time. This made about, I would say a cup and a half of ricotta cheese. And I wanted to talk to you about cost. This probably cost me about under $2 to make, including the liter of milk, a little bit of lemon juice and the salt. So we're talking about a cup and a half. If you go to the store, and you buy two cups of ricotta cheese, at least here in New Brunswick, Canada, as I make this video, it costs $8.50. So it's really, really worth it to make it yourself so you can be a little frugal and you know that there are no preservatives in this and it's really, really delicious. Thanks so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and please leave me a comment. I would love to hear what you have to say. I'll see you next time on Rain's Kitchen and Garden. Bye.